Let me share something personal with you. Halfway through the pandemic, I sought Christian therapy to learn more about myself and the complex feelings I couldn't understand. And I learned something incredibly pragmatic that I didn't expect to hear. When I described my symptoms of gnawing anxiety and constant irritability to the therapist, he had me practice one thing that helped me almost immediately. Commit to a balanced routine every day. Since the state of the world was in such chaos, my mind and body were stressed out because they were subconsciously on the lookout for the next impending danger. We were all fighting a war against an enemy we could not see. As a result, I fell out of my usual routine and lost my balanced lifestyle. Now, whenever I find myself moping around, irritable, and just not feeling my best, I double down on my daily routine and it usually solves the problem. Sometimes, the most spiritual thing you can do is to just rest. So, here is my healing nighttime routine. I hope you'll be encouraged to commit to something like this, especially on your hardest days. After I eat dinner and desserts with my family, I like to shower and wind down by 8 p.m. I save a good one to two hours before bed for this wind down routine without touching my phone. I also like to indulge in a relaxing, decadent hair care and skincare routine every night. It helps me feel like I'm really taking care of myself and the body that God has given me. Even a flower wilts when it's not being watered and the same goes for our body. Without consistent maintenance, we become like wilting plants. I always feel my best when I steward my body well. When I'm all fresh and clean, I like to sit in my favorite little corner of the bedroom and catch up on reading. There's a wonderful quote that goes, when you are overthinking, write. When you are underthinking, read. Without realizing it, I've been living out this advice because after I read in my little corner, so many thoughts run through my mind that I have to journal on the bed. Sometimes I regurgitate everything I learned onto the pages so it sticks with me. Other times, I just go through the weekly worksheets and let the questions guide my thoughts. For overthinkers like me, journaling at night is a great way to relieve stress and anxiety. The journal I'm using is the one I recently created. If you're looking for an aesthetic journal that incorporates both faith and mental health worksheets, you can pre-order mine at thehugashop.com. The Huga Shop is just a cozy online shop that I created last year. This small online shop is actually my dream come true. During the pandemic, I was able to release tons of free, beautiful wallpapers, relaxing soundtracks, 
and this peaceful journal to help make a difference in my own way. Tens of thousands of people enjoyed the peaceful resources and were positively impacted by this cozy little shop. My efforts eventually moved a company to want to help Huga with our next product, a cozy candle. I don't have the designs yet because this is still a work in progress, but I'll tell you all about the company who wants to help me. They're an app for businesses called Made in China. They're also the generous sponsor of this portion of the video. I checked out their app and was blown away by the professionalism and user-friendly design. I saw that all of their suppliers were certified, they value transparency and good working conditions, and they offered plenty of eco-friendly manufacturers as well. I'll be proudly sourcing my candle making supplier from this beautiful app, and you can be sure that it will be of the highest quality, curated candle that you can find. If you own a small business like me, you can download the Made in China app in my video description, or just scan the QR code on the screen. This is a great app with an even greater mission to debunk your prejudices against Chinese-made products and help bring your wonderful ideas to life without compromise. I hope you'll look forward to our cozy candle coming soon. Now, back to the video. After reading and journaling, I usually have some quality time with John. He needs to stretch for about 10 minutes before bed, so I sometimes join in and stretch with him. Most of the time, though, I just joke around with him or talk to him about tomorrow's schedule. <laughs> After stretching comes our nighttime prayer. We've been practicing this since we started dating, and it's now become a habit to pray together before bed. It's one of my favorite traditions that we have. Well. That's all for this video. I hope you were inspired to create your own cozy nighttime routine, or at least a daily habit that will keep you feeling balanced and at peace. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more cozy videos. I'll see you again soon.